We on? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick unboxing video and then um, review, I guess, of my tire pressure monitoring system for a motorcycle. Um, my daughter is helping me film this, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Okay, um, I bought this because in the last year I've managed to get four punctures on my motorbike and the most recent one was on the Payage in France doing 130 kph. Um, and the most alarming thing was that I didn't actually notice because it didn't feel bad at all. It was only because uh, somebody in the car very kindly waved me down that I was aware that I had any kind of problem at all. Uh, and obviously when I found out that my tyre was completely flat, and I've been driving it pretty rapidly, I was uh, frankly quite scared. So, I thought I would give one of these tyre pressure monitoring kits a try. This is off eBay. Um, I'll put a link in the description. Um, there are loads of these on eBay. They all appear to be the, the same basic model. There are more this was about £32, £33. Um, there are some more expensive ones. I thought I would... Uh, what are you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> there are some more expensive ones. I thought I'd try Cheeto first, see if that works. How are we doing, Bibi? Is it in shot? Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, 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 how's this come undone? I don't think it just slips out the bottom. So what have we got? We've got some destructions. Of course. Read those later. And in the box we have a handlebar mount kit for the display. Put that there, can you see that? Yep, yep can okay. I see. And this is the display itself. Let's just take it out of its wrapping. Oops. I'll tell you what, for a cheapo eBay kit, it's um, very attractively presented. Probably to keep it safe. Yeah, I mean, there aren't many reviews on these around, so I thought if I did one, it might help somebody else out. Uh, there we go. You can see it's got a, a little um, USB port there for charging. Down a little bit, thank you. Can we see that? Yeah, we can yeah. see. Little USB port for charging. Uh, that's the display. A couple of rubber buttons on there. I guess we'll find out what they do later. And obviously, it appears that that just screws into that. So I guess you can take it off the bike pretty easily when you uh, get off and uh, go and get your, uh, your fish and chips. What else have we got in the box? We have got... You see that okay? Bit down, yeah? How's that? Yeah. Okay. Locking nuts for the tire pressure sensors, a USB cable, and I believe that this, these two things here form a tool that will allow you to down, down, how's that? Yeah. Good, yeah? These form a tool that allow you to clamp around the tire pressure monitor and unscrew them so that you can put a new battery in them. So here we go. Here's the business end. See that okay? Yeah, perfect. Okay, great. Uh, two, obviously, because there are two wheels on a bike, right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, anything else in the box? Some foam. And that is it. So that's what you get in the box. A mount, a display, the two monitors, USB cable, some tools to fit it all together. And uh, I'll get it mounted up on the bike and we'll take another video to, to show you how it's working. Okay? Yeah. You can stop now. So we've got the kit fitted on the bike. Just zoom in here a little bit. Come in you. Really close. Close, 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 close. There we go, so we can see that we've got 36 in the front, 42 in the rear, we've got the temperatures um, displayed as well. If we come round and look, yeah, come on, down here, down, 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 where are we? There we go, nice and close. There we go, there's uh, the pressure monitor, and you can see it's secured there by the lock nut. Back up. Um, so we'll give it a shot tomorrow on, uh, I'll be taking this out for the day in the Peak District perhaps, 
Um, it was a bit of a, it wasn't a faff to fit, it was easy enough to fit, but um, the the setup is a little bit tricky because it's only got two buttons. So if you want to work out which combination of buttons you need to do, which thing is a bit, yeah, thank you, is a, a, a bit of a faff. And uh, the instruction manual is a, a little bit um, basic, let's say. But okay, so far so good. We'll give it a run tomorrow and uh, see what happens. Finished. That's it. Just to show you what happens when a uh, system detects a uh, pressure loss. I'll let me there out of this. So you get a visual and audible warning. Well, the, the audible warning probably would be much useful on the bike. Out the peaks this afternoon. And uh, we're registering 39 in front, 45 in the back. Given that we started off this morning with phase 642 and we've been doing a bit of riding, that's probably about right. In terms of the temperatures, registering 27 in the back which is probably about right and uh, 20 in the front which clearly isn't right um, the front temperature has been wavering between 19 and 20 all day and uh, I'm fairly sure that is not an accurate reading nevertheless uh, I didn't actually buy it for the temperature readings uh, but for the, the pressure readings and so far they look to be Okay, so the tyre pressure monitoring system then, um, the pros, well the pressure monitoring function does appear to work and uh, it's cheap. Uh, what about some of the cons? Um, although it has a temperature sensing function that doesn't appear to work very accurately. Um, and it does have some limitations so you can set a you can set the alarm to go off once it drops belief beneath a certain pressure but there doesn't appear to be a way of setting pressures independently for each of the tyres. So um, you can only set a, a lower level pressure for, for both tyres simultaneously. What are you doing? Can we place that there? Okay. Um, but, you know, given the price um, and given the, the added peace of mind, I think I have to say it'd be worth a punt. Um, that said, um, who knows how it will fare in terms of longevity, who knows how it will deal with um, 100 miles of wet dual carriageway, for example. Um, these things remain to be seen. Well, that's it. I hope that's been of interest to somebody. Uh, cheerio. And by the way, thank you for oh. using CVMS. <laughs>